Well, no, no, because we had just started. Um, we hadn't gone. We hadn't had it all online. But so, yeah. So. I'm hoping. Yeah. So. Okay. So. Uh, should be. I don't know why it's not. Huh, it's kind of gone. Okay. Okay. So it's time for uh, story time with the Zans. And we have our uh, pizza party starting first. So come and join us. If Right. That's where she got the balloon from that she wore. And you had the bar, right? It was dressed up, had beautiful costume, original story about the dragon. Yeah. Yeah. So what did you think of the story time? Was it fun? Yeah. <laughs> 
So we're having pizza. So come join us for some pizza. Again, Marlene and her and everybody just did an over the over the top job for the royal team. Yeah. 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 That's the way it comes to it, right? Hold the sides for the um for the dessert table is yeah. the very well put together. Yeah. It's all very cool. Yeah. We still got a lot of cabinets up yeah. No, oh, okay. That was good. You told me so much. Okay, so we're going to start out with a story by Tim Arnold, and it's called Parts. You heard this story before? It's it's a really funny story. So I'm gonna show it to you and then show it to Facebook Live. So um, okay, here it is. It says parts. Parts. So what do you think it's gonna be about? That's a good pretty that's a reasonable assumption. I just don't know what's going on. It's hard for them to hear on Facebook, so let me take one side off. I don't know what's going on or why it has to be, but every day something's worse. What's happening to me? And see, look, see, look, Kathy or or scared. He's scared. Yeah, he's scared. Something's happening. Something's going wrong. What's happening? He's sweating. Oh my God. <laughs> I think it was three days ago, I first became aware that in my comb were caught a couple pieces of my hair. Did you ever have your hair come out in your comb? <laughs> you think he's happy about that? Losing pieces? I stared at them amazed and more than just appalled to think that I was only five and starting to go bald. <laughs> then later on, I don't recall exactly when it was, I lifted up my shirt and found this little bit of fuzz. Do you ever find fuzz in your belly button <laughs> under the shirt? <laughs> What's he gonna think of fuzz in his belly button? Do you think? Hopefully, cleans it up. <laughs> I stared at it amazed and wondered, what's this all about? But then I understood. It was my stuffing coming out. <laughs> He's losing his stuffing. <laughs> Would that be scary? <laughs> Next day, when I was outside playing with the water hose, I saw that little bits of skin were peeling from my toes. What's oh. I gonna think of toes peeling? <laughs> the skin was strong. Where's his toes? I stared at them amazed. They done. I gave a little groan to think that pretty soon I might be peeled down to the <laughs> then yesterday before my bath, as I took off my clothes, a chunk of something gray and wet fell right out of my nose. <laughs> I don't think I want to <laughs> So here he is with his skin peeled off. <laughs> You think that's going to happen to him? <laughs> I stared at it amazed and thought, I should be feeling pain. Well, wouldn't you if you just lost a little piece of your brain? Uh, 
that it was a piece of his brain coming out of his nose. Is that it? <laughs> Sometimes, if you don't understand things, they can be scary, right? So now, today, I'm sitting here enjoying Dr. Seuss, and suddenly I realize my tooth is coming loose. Wiggle it, amaze, dismays, too horrified to speak. Without my teeth, how can I eat? Already I feel weak. Now I'm really worried. I'm as scared as I can be. Because finally what's happening is very clear to me. So what do you think he thinks is happening to him? Yeah. The glue that holds our parts together isn't holding me. Yeah. So now I'm thinking to myself, what's next in line to go? Might be my ears, might be my eyeballs. How's a kid to know? Do you think he could lose his ears or his eyeballs? I think they come off that easy. They <laughs> <laughs> can play jacks with his eyeballs. <laughs> he can play what? Jacks. Play jacks with his eyeballs. <laughs> One day I might be playing ball and have my fall off. Or maybe I could lose my head because I suddenly I cough. Did he cough his head off? You better I'm coughing my head off. People say that, don't they? But does their do their head come off? His head came off. What is it? Like soon I'll be in pieces in a pile without a shape. Thank goodness, Dad keeps lots and lots and lots of masking tape. <laughs> so what's he doing? He's taping himself together. <laughs> what? You forgot to tell me my teeth fall out? And when they do? Some brand new teeth will begin soon begin to sprout. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, we forgot to tell you your teeth will fall out, but you'll get new ones. A little thing they forgot to tell. <laughs> right. My hair, my skin, and everything. There's nothing I should fear. So all of me is normal. That's really good to hear. So that's why skin flakes off, right? So we're taking all the tape off. <laughs> then tell me, what's this yellow stuff in my ear? Yeah. I got out of my ear. You think he's totally convinced he's okay? <laughs> it's still bothering something. So when you don't understand things, this gets scary. So if you if you don't understand things, what could you do? You're, he doesn't understand things, so he's getting scared. This is not what. He's not paying attention. This is not. He's paying attention, but he's not doing something important. When you're scared, what, what can you do? You're scared about something. Yes, yes. And then she can explain, like, you know, all these things can happen to fall out. So if you worry. get scared, is it so scary once you understand? You feel better. You feel better. Yeah. So if you're scared, a very powerful thing for a kid to do if you're scared is tell a parent. And there's other people that you can tell too. Who else could you tell? It's trustworthy. 
tell your friends. See, that's what they understand what's going on. But that's the problem. They may not understand either, so they might not tell you, explain it as well. So that is a possibility. So friends is a, is, a good, is a good idea, but you have to understand that they may not be able to explain it real well. They might all both be scared. Right. So who else could you tell besides um, you tell your father? You tell your father. Yeah. Who else? Stepfather. Oh, your stepfather. Brother and sister. Yeah. Yeah. Brother or sister. Are there other people that you could what if you're at school? Grandpa, you, grandma. Yeah, grandpa. So your family. All your family. Yeah. Oh yes. What if you're at school and something scary happens? You can tell the teacher. You can tell the teacher, right? Yeah. So, and if the teacher can't help you, or uh, what can you do? You tell you need to jump up. Yeah. So sometimes it's so schools are the nurse of the school. Yeah. Tell the nurse. Yeah, nurse. So, what's the worst thing to do with a fear? He was thinking about all these things and seeing all these things happening, and he wasn't, he didn't tell anybody, right? So, and that's time to hide it, and he was hiding it. And then he, he tried to solve it himself. How did he try to solve it himself? He tried to, he tried to take himself so that yeah. parts don't fall off. Yeah, did it work very well? So, when you're a kid and you try to solve problems, sometimes you can. But sometimes, because you're a kid and you don't understand, it doesn't work very well. So, yeah. So I have to tell the grown-up. Yeah. So the, the worst part about when you're afraid is not telling anybody and feeling all of it. You have to deal with it all alone, right? And the truth is, do you have to deal with things all alone if you're afraid? Just have a grown -up. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes it's hard to, for us adults to deal with the things we're afraid of. Yeah. And sometimes we have to talk to what if you're adults? What if you what do you do as an adult? Get well, therapy. You can get talk to them. your spouse. Talk to your parents. Talk, talk to, to your parents. Your parents. Your talk to your spouse. Talk to your um oh, your mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the thing is, all people, all human beings, when we look at somebody and think, all oh, they're not afraid of anything. But all humans have all humans need help. All, and we all get afraid and we all need help. Yeah. And so the, the thing we have to do we all is we have to be brave. Right, and say how we feel. So, yeah. So, but I think this is a really good story. <laughs> yeah. But you can borrow it. We'll check it out. Okay. So, this book. So, thank you so much for sharing your ideas with me. That was so fun. That was a fun story. Yeah. So um, most of our fears are based on things of, about a lack of knowledge. So, so a lot of times, a lot of times, a lot of times, a lot of times gaining knowledge is what we need to do to help us with our fears. So this is called, and all adults too, we also have fears. Animals have fears too. Yeah. Like chickens. Just adults have more experience in dealing with fear, so hopefully they're a little better, better, little better at dealing with them because they have more experience, right? So the name of this book is called "Something's Wrong: A Bear, A Hare, and Some Underwear." <laughs> by Jory John. Yes. I, I love this to be fun. So here he is. Something's wrong. 
a pair of hair and some underwear. He's waking up. His alarm clock is waking him up. That's how a cat is doing. It's making an alarm clock. Oh, okay. Let's see. I ate my breakfast. I wrote in my journal. I watered my plant. I took my bath. I tied on the gift from my grandma and I combed my hair, my fur. Hmm. Something, hmm. So why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Something's wrong. I think you forgot to brush your teeth. Something's wrong. It's not forgetting something. You have that feeling like something's wrong. I'm forgetting there's something I'm supposed to do and I can't. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't get it. Why do I feel so odd right now? So off. So oddly off. Something's definitely bothering me. And I can't figure out what it is. Oh, hello there. How are you? How are things? It's so great to see you. You're doing well, I gather. Excellent. I'm doing really good too. Everything is just so good. I can't even believe it. Ah! <laughs> you enjoyed that water? Yeah, me too. I love water. Love it. So refreshing. Okay. Oh, Bye. <laughs> is he talking? Is he pretending that everything's okay? So, is that going to fix it? Something's wrong? Pretending everything's okay? Is that going to make it better? That's why he's doing that. Why is that bear wearing underwear? <laughs> Check me out. Just confidently strolling through the forest without a care in the world. Yup, I'm a picture of calm. There's nothing on my mind that's yes, totally yes. and completely worrying me and distracting me and making me think that something is utterly wrong. But he's just pretending. He's just pretending that everything's fine. But he knows what? Something's wrong. <laughs> so when he's, oh, it's great. Oh, I'm great. Oh, everything's great. Oh, is that sometimes? Hmm. Just be cool, man. Play it cool. Just another day. Don't let them see you sweat. Um, why am I sweating so much? Oh, hello. I didn't see you there, but now I do. How are you? How's your family? How's your life? Oh, it's great to see you. You good? What's it like being a raccoon? You enjoying the weather? Yeah, me too. I love nice weather. Love it. It's cool to be warm. <laughs> oh, but I can see you're quite busy. So I'll let you get back to uh, whatever you're doing. Oh, okay then. Well, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> is, he, is he doing what? What's he doing? <laughs> He's talking too much, right? <laughs> Sounds like a, something you want. Chad, Chad <laughs> Why is that bear wearing underwear? <laughs> Something's definitely wrong. Something's odd. Something's off. I don't know what it is. Is he going to keep pretending? <laughs> you know what I need. I need a friend. Yes. I need a trusted friend who will be honest with me. A friend who will tell me if something is actually wrong. I can think of only one trusted friend who will know what to do. Anders. Uh, uh-oh. Hi, everybody. How are you? You're all looking so good and happy and healthy. Nothing more important than that. Am I right or am I right? I think I'm right. Swell day we're having, eh? What is this? Is it a Tuesday or a Saturday or a Thursday or a Wednesday or a Sunday? Anyway, I'm 
time just must be going. I'm off to find Anders. Lovely chatting with all of you. Take care and say hi to your families for me. Oh, we must get hey, together again soon. Okay, goodbye. Why is that bear wearing underwear? Hi, come and have some pizza. That's my friend Faisha. She goes to Italy. Oh, okay. It's story time with Mateus. Want some pizza? It's okay if you ask your mom. Is it okay? Okay. Yeah, so if you, you want to, you can grab a, let's see. Uh, got the story time going on. So why don't we finish? We're almost finished with this story. How about, and then we'll have some pizza. Does that count, sound good? Glad to have some more kids joining us. Uh, so, oh, Anders, Anders, are you in there? What, whatever it is you're doing, please stop and come outside this instant. I need you, old buddy. Oh, hey, Jay, Jack, what's your, uh, hey, uh, uh, how's your, uh, let me see, uh, how's, uh, are you okay, Anders? Oh, boy, should I tell him? You really think he can handle it? Why am I even asking you? Oh, uh, who are you? All right, well, here we go. Deep breath. What is he going to tell him? What's he going to tell him? Uh, Jeff, uh, could it be that you, um, hmm, that you left your house wearing your underwear? <laughs> Why do you need underwear anyway? You're covered in fur from head to toe. Man, seems unnecessary to see the least. No, I'm still wearing the gift from my grandma. She sends me the. Oh, it is cool. She sends me the weirdest stuff. So, would a would a bear need to wear underwear? What do you say? No. Would a bear need to wear underwear? No judgment here, but good thing I saw you first, eh, hey, buddy? Gosh, you're right, Anders. Phew! I mean, sure, I may have talked to a few other folks along the way, a deer, a raccoon, and a hedgehog, and a fox, and, uh, um, and, oh, and also that bird, but I'm not sure they noticed. I mean, they didn't say anything after all. They probably would have said something if they had noticed, right? Would they have said something if they noticed? I suppose, Jeff, but we should probably get you home before anybody, um, what's that in the distance? Over yonder. So what do you think it is? What's in the distance over yonder? There's all of them, all of his friends. And he saw in the forest. So what are they all doing? All, yeah, you can cover with that in a minute. We're all looking at them. Oh, hey, everybody. How's it going? Nice weather we're having. Well, it looks like rain or something, or maybe not. It's cool to be warm. Ha, ha, ha. Anyway, how are all of your families? Everybody good? Say hi for me. Well, I must be going. Which way was I heading? Let's see. Uh, Jeff, why are you wearing underwear? <laughs> Oh, he's out there wearing underwear. Why is Jeff wearing underwear? What do you even mean? This is a new thing, people. This is the new style. That's what's happening. Animals wear underwear. Now, you're looking at it. It's right here. In fact, why aren't you guys wearing underwear over your fur? Huh? Because I'll tell you what. You look weird right now, if you want to know the truth. Well, uh, that's a, uh, hmm. Yeah, you want some? Okay, one second. We're almost through with the story. Okay. Oh, Anders, thank you. You are indeed a true and trusted friend. You saved the day and my reputation. I'll never forget this. Never, ever, ever, ever. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go and change into a something a bit more respectable. Like a top hat. And a scarf. Oh, and maybe a monocle. Why bother, buddy? You're just fine as you are. Trust me. A little later. What did I tell you? Hi, how are we doing? 
Are we doing all right? Yeah, you nailed it. Nothing out here. So what happened to all the animals? <laughs> They're all wearing clothes. You know what, Anders? I may be absent-minded, but one thing I'll never forget is that you're truly a good friend. Good friends are like good underwear job. They're reliable and and they're supportive. <laughs> oh, what do you think of this story? Okay, so you guys have some pizza? Okay, so one more slice to fill my stomach. Yeah. So what did they do? 
So he said, you don't need money to get up the bushes.
that's a part of your, your mask. So you have a mask that you can wear. Oh, how about this? Oh, I think mm -hmm. now we're done. I think we're done. I'm going to do one. I'm going to do this. Yeah. I'm going to watch a movie. Oh, no, this is Facebook Live. We're actually on Facebook Live. So, oh, you like this? It's a David McVale. He's a great. He's a great uh, author, but you know what? I'm going to Another time. Thank you, though. Oh, I know. It's wonderful that you like this. So, to get done with what we're going to do? Oh, yeah. I have to that. I like this one. Yeah. Yep. So the first uh, Tuesday of the month is pizza okay. with pizzazz, and the second one is I think mine? it's puzzling. Third, the third, one of them is uh, kids tip. The fourth one is kids tip. That's what we're doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, you figured that out? I'll open up the one. Cool. Yeah. Who likes weird things? Sounds good. You can take them apart. You can go like this. Oh, Who's that? Who's all this? I mean, I don't know how many people are doing it, so I got a few extra So we'll save the box. Oh, but there's a kid. Yeah. Who's a little bit kids in here? Yeah. Some of these, some of their kids.
super windy. Yeah, I agree. I 
Library story time. Six o'clock. 